be making bases. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is something called parallel uh, compression. All right. And this technique is going to be used to really make something shine out in the track a little bit more. Um, but without actually, you know, adding the signal super strong into the mix. And this is kind of gives you a, a way to add the compression in without, you know, overly compressing something, but still giving it a thump. So usually I would start with, you know, say putting the parallel compression for a kick drum. This will make it, you know, pop out in the mix more. So say you have a compression on it already. Listen to it. Let's say you want that to shine out a little bit more, but you don't want to, you know, affect these compression settings too much more on this actual uh, audio effect settings. OK, what you could do instead is send another compressor and that way you can kind of affect the volume level of the actual compressor another way. So what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, to the sends area, come down to bus and go to an available track. Bus six happens to be the available track. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it PC for short for parallel compression. And I'm going to add a compressor on there. Now, in order for this to really work, what you're wanting to do really is come in with a very hard sounding compressor. OK. And again, how to achieve that is to bring that threshold threshold down pretty low and um, the attack pretty low. Now, if you listen to it, let's see. You see how it kind of still beefens it up and makes it look, come in, thump a little harder without making it sound overly compressed. All right, so like I'm gonna give you an example. If I was to take that compress this this signal that I'm sending from over here to over here and add a hard compressor to it, right? The traditional way. Let's see how that would actually sound uh if I added another compressor to it. Like it's coming in, it's hitting hard, but as you can see is really hitting too hard. And so you don't want your, your things to be too compressed. So see how that that's kind of messing up your mix. So it would be better for you to send a compressor to uh you know to this track via the sends or do a parallel compression um and basically to liven it up. Now to keep in mind, keep this in mind. Actually, this could be added to any track on here. So, like for instance, say if I wanted to add this comparable compression to thicken up the, the snare drum, I can come to, uh, I can go over here to the sends and go to bus six, which is the PC or parallel compressor track, and I can bring that up there too. See how that's kind of make it, make it sound a whole lot louder without actually affecting the overall volume, without making it too loud to where it's jacking up the mix. Again, you want to you you can control it however you want. We can even put it on the hi hat. Parallel compression is also a way to add compression compression to any instrument track without having to actually put it on the effects um, channel. And what that's also can do is free up more of your processing power so that your your um, your processor and your computer you basically can process the audio better, and that, that kind of frees, makes a better mix as well. So these are just some techniques that you can use on your tracks. Again, spare sparingly is better, or, or less is more. Um, and you only want to use it if you need it. OK, I just wanted to show that that's kind of how you can make certain instruments pop out in the mix a little bit better with compression. Um, 
and everything like that. Now, one thing to keep in mind um, with, you know, Ascend, you know, you see here they have post pan, post fader, pre fader. OK, um, what's that saying is the signal when it's, it's telling us when this actual uh, signal is going to come in. All right. Is this signal going to be affected? Is it going to just think about this as a as water coming through a water hose and the water will come through each of these channels if it's added. OK, so let's say it's coming through here to the hi hat. Right. Do you want this to, this water to come through pre fader, meaning before you actually add uh, bring this fader up or down? Meaning that it doesn't, it's not affected. The signal's coming through and it's not affected by the fader, how loud or soft you make it. Or would you want this to come through post pan, like after you pan things? Because if you think about it, you don't want you want you don't want it to come in in pre fader because then like say if you want to pan something or if you wanted to bring it up or loud or soft, you know you couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So like post fader. Basically, that post fader is basically saying that that signal's coming in after you adjust the volume level. OK, but I would say, shoot, after I adjust the volume level and after I adjust that pan, man. All right. So that's parallel compression. If you have any questions, ask. Thanks for watching.